I came across this random chat app category, which I had never really heard of. The way a lot of these apps work is you log into the app and you're paired with another person. You have this short window of time to kind of like talk to the person, something like 15 seconds, and sometimes you can extend that time and then move on to the next one. And I started looking at the reviews in those apps, and just in scrolling through on my phone, I noticed that there were some pretty horrific sounding things that kids were going through. The unwanted sexual content, bullying, racism. I wanted to know if there was a way to somehow get those reviews off of the iOS app store and into a database, a spreadsheet of some kind where I could sort of analyze this and get really a sense of, of how bad is this. So when Reed reached out um, about this problem, I, I was immediately interested in it and kind of spent the whole evening trying to dig into it and trying to figure out how can I get all of these iOS app reviews. I was able to find a, an, a hidden API that allowed me to get every single app review like from the inception of the app. We, we took those reviews and, and um, what we started doing is we put all of those into a Google spreadsheet. 18 year old men ask for nudes, I'm 13. So here's somebody who's being racist. This is a person who says they're 13, talking about adult men asking them to send them naked photos. And after a couple of days of just reading through, we were able to kind of create an algorithm that would sift through the, the, the information for us. But basically the algorithm is getting trained by looking at some instances that we've tagged uh, as positive examples, and then it looks for co reviews that are, are similar in nature. What we still need to do is manually verify all the instances that the algorithm is saying are positive instances of se sexual harassment. Out of the six apps, we manually verified 1,530 reviews that contained reports of unwanted sexual behavior. At least some of the parents I talked to have really come to trust Apple that the apps on the App Store are really going to be kind of vetted for appropriate content, especially ones that are geared towards kids. And what's clear is that they're not really. All Apple has to do is look at its own reviews on its own App Store. The two apps that responded to my request for comment, Yubo and Scout, both said that they take a lot of measures to try and moderate the content and limit this type of behavior. Apple says that if it finds an app is inappropriate, it wants to give developers a chance to ensure they comply with the rules, but it won't hesitate to remove them if they don't. 